The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. Hey everybody, this is The Ashholes. Each week, they smoke a different cigar, sometimes the same cigar, but mostly different, and they give their honest impression. They always assign an official Ashholes rating to that cigar. So, pull up a chair, light up, relax, be an Ashhole too. It's very rewarding. We're broadcasting live from the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shop in Tam, New Hampshire. This is the Ash Holes Podcast. Today is Dave's grandson's first birthday, and so we're going to celebrate yeah. with the perfect cigar for such an occasion. And we're going to talk about the age differences of cigar smokers mm. and what effect that has on their smoking habits and all that fun stuff. We are the Ash Holes. We are. We are, and it's the normal lineup this week yeah. with our friend Dave, who will be absent next week. That's right. Oh. I'll, I'll be in the Dominican Republic, so you guys have to do it without me, but maybe there'll be a surprise guest that'll come in and join you and Ooh. stay for one week or three weeks and be <laughs> yeah. gone. They'll be on par with our normal right. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're used to rotating <laughs> yeah. hosts. And the, I have the professor with me, and of course, we've got Chrissy. Our producer can't see her, but g'day, she's g'day. there. She's there. It'd be better if you could see her. We the would, Aussie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why yeah. you really want to say this? I mean, one? the number of time our guests, uh, mm-hmm. our listeners, who get flipped off on the camera. There we be, go. Look. There we go. Oh, oh, oh look at that! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> camera swing. Hello. The Shoo. camera yeah. swing. Back to them. Back swing. Back swing. Back swing. Yeah. Hello. The speed of that tells you that she just programmed it to already do that. Yeah. Swing. What, what, what was that movie? Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Oh, Wayne's Wayne's World. Wayne's World. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wayne's World. <laughs> Party time, excellent. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, James's birthday, and I'll get to that in a second, but I want to light this cigar up in celebration uh, of his first birthday. And this is called the Abuelo, is the brand, and Abuelo means grandfather because I became a grandfather. So one year ago today, we launched this brand, when uh, little James was born. Hmm. This size is called the Nieta. There's a Nieto and a Nieta. This is the Nieta, Mm -hmm. which is the granddaughter. There isn't a granddaughter, he's a grandson, but we're smoking the granddaughter. And the shape of this is basically a a Panatella, would you say? A perfecto, right? It is a perfecto, but if it if Just it wasn't the Lonsdale, um, it, it's a Corona ish. Yeah. yeah, Corona size. You know, it's a it's a Corona perfecto as well. Yeah, it's, it's what, four and a half. Is that the length? No, it's a little longer than that. No, no it might be a four full five and four. Oh, five and a quarter. That's five and a quarter by forty six. By forty six. Yeah, so that's Corona Gorda. Lonsdale-ish, yeah. With a, it's in its own. It's a nieta. Is what it is. It's its own thing. It's its own thing. Yeah. It's got the little point at the end of it that's going to make it easier to light for us. It feels like a novelty pencil, like, yeah. <laughs> like a short novelty pencil, just the shape of it. So the binder is Corojo. The filler is Corojo because this is make it Aladino, and I thought they had the nicest Corojo. Authentic tobacco. Corojo. Yeah. And the wrapper though is Habano. Hmm. So uh, I believe they may be launching a brand this year because uh, we had him on the other yeah. show, mm-hmm. and he was mentioning a Aladino classic coming out yeah. Yeah, that yeah. has a Habano wrapper. And they're mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if yeah. this is a takeoff like from it. this. Maybe they liked yeah. it because I like it. I like it um, Anyway, this size cigar sells for nine ninety nine a piece. They're in boxes of twenty for one sixty nine ninety nine, which brings it down to eight dollars and forty nine cents per cigar by the box. And you can find them at your favorite brick and mortar retailer. And if they don't have it, tell them to get it, or go to twoguyscigars.com. That's the number twoguyscigars.com. Made by JRE, the makers of Aladino, sold through United Cigar, and uh, it's all for the birth of James, one year old this week. So let's light her up. Cold draw? Cold draw. Yeah, some spice. A little tight on the cold draw because, again, it points it down at the end. I get a little, like, earthy. Yeah, earthy. um, I don't want to say dirt, but... Yeah. (laughs) That's earth. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Wood. Yeah, dried leaves, kind of. Yeah. 
I don't know. I think it's time to light our cigars. Mm. Brought to you by Perdomo, the hottest brand in the land, a company founded on quality, tradition, and excellence. Thought you were going to go with the comfort and price thing. <laughs> Rock by Sweet Baby J. You were talking about One draw, draw, that's the law. Sorry. One draw, that's the law. One draw, that's the law. One draw, that's the law. It's brought to you by Abuelo Cigars. You're going to live under my roof? You're going to play by my rules. Abuelo Cigars. Just thought I'd get that in there real mm-hmm. quick. A little aggressive. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's early aggressive. As Honduran tobacco is, oh, yeah. typically. It's got a bite to it. Yep. Hmm. And I know that's going to calm down later, but yeah, right now, I'd say you're an eight, eight and a half. But it's going to come in we, I know it is six and a half, yeah. I would say. Probably your seven. Mm. Yeah, it's like got a little bit of like a, yeah. like a hint of a honey sweetness on that first draw. And then it's just power. Yeah, with a bite. Mm-hmm. Power with a cedar bite, cedar, mm-hmm. yeah, cedar bite to it. Yeah, seems about right. Now, is that because it's a, a tighter end? Typically, like Honduran that? tobacco mm-hmm. does have an early bite to it. It's early aggressive. You know, literally five puffs in, and we have we haven't got to five puffs yet. But five puffs in, it's going to start calming down. And like Ed said, not my first go around on this cigar mm-hmm. anyway. It's going to fall into it about a six and a half, a little medium, yeah. a little medium plus. plus. Yeah, yeah, a little plus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. So yeah, I've smoked a lot of. Feels these. like it's a tight draw again. That's going to loosen up when the when the bulbous pot gets past it. But yeah. an easy light. Mm. Yeah, nice quick light. Running well so far. So Open you got some pictures of James there? Yeah. Let me show, show him, let me show him <laughs> off. One years old. All He's right. twelve months. And uh, this <laughs> me and him in yeah. the in the in the recliners <laughs> that's, after a long day. That's after the pizza and yeah. cake. Yeah, Correct. Yeah, it's important for a kid his age to get off his feet mm-hmm. and rest yeah. of it. <laughs> we have uh, my mother and my daughter and me and James. Looks, There's four generations there. Right. Looks like a very big cake. How many people were there? Just a yeah, family? Yeah, a few. You gotta be prepared, that's a cannoli. That was his there first cannoli. He loved it. Oh, he I loved it. the <laughs> cannoli. He wouldn't. I mean... And that's us making pizza in the yard. Dave, question Not on his this. first pizza, but... What, what if you start, uh, you know, you've got to drop one or the other. What do you drop in the pizza? Or drop in the pizza. Really? I love really him love him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your pizza would go first. That's yes. my favorite shot, I'd say. The matching yeah. 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 chairs. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, he's a good kid. Good kid. And uh, we'll see what ends up happening. I ho- hope he's uh, taking this seat in about 20 years. <laughs> yeah. He's got to be on the ash holes. Uh, holes. I don't know if he'll last. Yeah, Yeah. he'll don't last. Uh, Yeah, he hasn't even been to the store yet. He hasn't been. I haven't got to take him anywhere or do anything. I think it's time now. It's a year. I should say, go with Grandpa to let's go. Go to work day. Go something. Yeah. Yeah. He'd like it. Although, what happens when he goes boom boom? Then I gotta take care of that. I mean, yeah. he wouldn't be the smelliest no. person here. Jonathan will do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you delegate that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, all right, today today we're talking about um, age differences of cigar smokers. Do younger cigar smokers smoke different cigars, less or more expensive cigars, stronger or lighter, darker or lighter? Why? What What is it with the consumer? And I'll tell you. This came up because we were having a little conversation about, oh, wouldn't it be nice to bring in younger cigar smokers? Mm -hmm. You know, what are we looking for? What's your target audience? I know what our audience is, but what if we were trying to advertise anything, what do we want to bring in? Mm -hmm. And most people would say, oh, you want to bring in a younger group of people. But who's spending the money? So I did some statistics. You got stats? I got Mm -hmm. stats. And the, I didn't know this the Generation Z, Millennials, X, Boomers, and the Silence. Mm. The Silence? The Silence. Uh, the before people? Boomers? That's, yeah. So the biggest spenders in Is order. Greatest Generation before Big Boomers? Is that the right order? That's like a World War. They're all dead anyways. I mean, uh, so <laughs> a baby boomer. Is in first place, and a baby boomer is age 55 to 75 years old. That's me and you, Ed Sullivan. Yeah. 
and we spend an average of $548.1 billion annually. That's where the money's going, Just the most between money. between me and you? Or no, all of with, with including the others, too. Right. <laughs> 548, all the way down to 357 from 548 is the second best spenders, and that is Generation X, 36 to 54. Mm. Are you guys yeah. 36? Uh, 30, yes. 39. Yeah. Yep. You're there? there? All right, so that's you guys, the second best. Yeah. So the Ashholes has the best spenders <laughs> completely. Good. We have two of each. Um, at $357 billion spent annually. Next category is millennials. They are age 25 to 35, and they're down to 322 from 357. Not too far off, but that's what they spend annually. And the silent generation is age 76 and older. They spend 162.9. Right. So, do you have the figures of how many are in each category? Because that's the real test. If how you, many you people? You get average out because yeah. it's not going to be as many millennials smoking cigars, but. It's true. A lot more boomers. Yeah, around. divide the number by the and number <laughs> of spenders. The silent. Get the average yeah. of each. You know? The silent, the silent uh, for a reason. Yeah. Silent for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Just sitting in a chair and being old. Well, so there is a. Uh, you know, I mentioned to you, baby boomers, X, millennials, silent, but there's a Generation Z. Yeah, they can't mm-hmm. smoke yet. <laughs> they are 26 years old or less. Oh. 20, up to 26, mm-hmm. really? Yeah, yeah. So they kind of can, they but they're, they're worthless to us because we know that. <laughs> Not uh, just those, no. <laughs> to, to cigar smoking because they got to start at 21 and they don't start at 21. I was the oddball starting at 25. Yeah. What year did you start smoking cigars? Uh, I was. 30? Yeah, in your 30s? Yeah. Ed Sullivan in your 30s? Late 20s. Late 20s? That's but the not best. seriously. Yeah. 30s. No. That's it. Yeah, so you've got the rare. As much as we say we want the younger generation, the fact of the matter is I think we want 36 to 75 or 36 to 54 Generation X and Baby Boomers. The earliest we want is Generation X 36 to 54. So how we advertise, promote, market, or do anything is the direction I was looking at is what's cool, talking to my daughter, what's cool, what's in, and all this stuff. You're like, Big nothing's thing. cool. If it's cool, it's not cool. That's right. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's right. <laughs> on top of that. That's the problem. So, and then what do they spend their money on? So, you know, food. Doesn't it seem like they're big into the limited items, right? Mm-hmm. You know, okay, I want thing. this clothing item, but you have to go online and you probably can't get it. Right. You've got to wait. They, and they'll, they'll weed off of that after a while. Right? When, when <laughs> they look think. at this bunch of the shit they bought over the years it's that was supposed nothing. to be worth a lot. Yeah. It never was, right? It'd be like the Hummels. You remember the right. Hummels? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All the old people thought they were crazy valuable. Yeah. 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 It was the same thing with Beanie Babies. Right? Yeah. Yep. S- food spending went from 4698 4, for under 25 group to 7900 for both the 35 to 44s and the 45 to 54s. So 35 to 54 spent almost twice as much on food as mm. the uh, under 25 group. For the under 25 age group uh, spent on apparel, they spend more on apparel. Mm-hmm. 1513 and 1832 respectively. And entertainment is the uh, under uh, 25 group, again, is entertainment. Mm-hmm. So they're doing entertainment and clothing when we sell cigars. And I don't know if you can call cigars entertainment. Hmm. Probably not. It's a consumable, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we want age 35 to 44, or better yet, uh, no, that seems to be the strongest. Uh, and again, it, co- it comes down to 35 to 65. Yeah. It, it's going to be like the bullseye where we are, right. and Hello. all of us are the bullseye. Yeah. Smaller group, but I think some of the retirement age guys up consumption at that point, right? Yeah. So after 65. Nope, so I wonder how the amount of 
time someone's spent smoking cigars affects those numbers. So it's like, obviously, an older person's going to have been smoking for a longer time. The 75 year old guy has time forever. To, and he has time to spend. Time to spend, but also, like, the longer, like, so a new smoker, say, at 50 years old, might not spend as much as, like, a new smoker at, I don't know, 25 if it's like they're really into it. It's hard to say because, you know, there's. And then that's good. They, they have money to do it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, disposable income, all this stuff. The amount of time they're going to spend right. on a new money hobby and time. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So since uh, Ed Sullivan has no fan mail this week, is that right? I have no fan mail. No fans. We have no fans. No. I mean, we do. They're in the chat room. Are right they now. there? The chat. They're, they're very. They're very concerned. There's. There's. A lot of concern about you guys not having a drink. Dave is the only one with a drink. Yeah, I got a Looking coffee. Like the desk yeah. is making me thirsty. <laughs> okay. You guys thirsty? We usually don't. I mean. And there's an in agreement. I'm with you. I always need a water or a cold soda. With I do it just in case. Absolutely. I do it. It's here. You could be coughing, and then what are you going to do? Right. I have enough liquid. You're, you're not prepared. Me. I'm not prepared <laughs> You just get all. up and walk over and I get a drink. I feel very underprepared right now. All right. Now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There's a Diet Coke right there. I know. So if I start choking, I'll get You know it. where to go? Yeah. His, I don't his drink g- is right there. I don't want to give them free Advertise. advertising. All right. This is very valuable. Yeah, if they, would, <laughs> if they want the drink up here, they can pay, right? Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I want to mention Two Guys Smoke Shop's 37th anniversary cigar dinner is coming up. Tickets are going to go on sale this Saturday. Whew. So uh, at 10 o'clock in the morning. And typically, these things sell out really fast. Really fast. Um, this year is a, a new location mm-hmm. in Nashua, mm-hmm. New Hampshire. We've never been there before. Uh, I don't know how fast it's going to sell because it's there. Is that going to help or hurt mm-hmm. the sales of it? I don't know. But it's at Sky Meadow Country Club in Nashua, New Hampshire on Wednesday, September 14th at 6 p.m. Doors open. It's the day after my birthday. Oh, Mm. It's been on my birthday before. It has mm-hmm. fallen right on yeah. your birthday, and, I, and you still went. I worked it. <laughs> you worked it. Yeah, you worked on, on your birthday. birthday. Yeah. I do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows. <laughs> it's my birthday, and they, they don't take they, days off. They yeah. mean to me, and they don't even know it was now, my birthday. Now, the menu looks fantastic, mm. right? Oh, the menu is uh, Tuscan Caesar salad, grilled filet mignon with jumbo crab all cakes, potato au gratin, <laughs> uh, asparagus, followed by coffee and cannoli. Mm. Nice. Mm. And I think they're going to pipe the cannolis right there for you. Yeah, whatever. so you got the nice crisp yeah. shell. Nice. No yeah. soggy. mm-hmm. 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 No. Impressive okay. is you're going to get 15 cigars. Whoa. And pay attention to the cigars because those are the people that are coming. Uh, aging Room, Aganosa Leaf, Atabe, Aladino, CLE, Davidoff, Diamond Crown, Garofalo. Yeah, I'll be there. Jose Dominguez, Nesta Miranda, Kristoff, La Flor Dominicana, Padron, Perdomo, and Rocky Patel. Mm-hmm. So Nick Perdomo's coming, Nelson Alfonso's coming, Jose Dominguez is coming, uh, Oliver Nouveau from United Cigar, George Padron, Rafael Nodell, Christian Aroa, Rocky Patel, Terrence Riley, Nesta Miranda, Glenn Case from Kristoff, Lito Gomez, mm-hmm. Eric Newman, Johan Swan from Davidoff, Justo Aroa, and more. Now, is Lito really coming this year? <laughs> he says he is. He's on the list. All right. So what we do with this party, it's a sit-down dinner. When you walk in, you get all your cigars at once. There's no uh, trick-or-treating that you got to go around from table to mm-hmm. table. You sit at a table, and you get fed a beautiful meal. Mm-hmm. We have a comedian. We have music playing. It's really a nice, nice time. And then during the night, we start eliminating people from the chance of winning the prize. Right. When you say eliminate, you don't mean kill. They're we just don't kill. Out of the just, game. just out of the game. See how the night goes. <laughs> and we offer the money, and it's like a game show It's always dinner. fun. Always You're, fun. The prize also- uh, will include the grand prize, which is a membership to Sky Meadow Country Club. Hmm. And you say, well, I live far away. Uh, what would I do with I the membership? Golf. First off, you'd have to win. And then the second thing is, during winning, you're offered lots of money for your prizes <laughs> yeah. as it's going on. So you have There's many, many choices. Always an opportunity yeah. to cash it out. You mm-hmm. also get a new set of golf clubs, and you'll be fitted for those golf clubs if you choose to keep so those golf those clubs. Those I could just keep in the car and pull like a Jack Nicholson. You could. Right? If somebody mm-hmm. cuts me off yeah. and I smash Use it their, as a weapon. Yeah. It's absolutely allowed. <laughs> A uh, custom <laughs> golf bag. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Plus your very own golf cart. 
No way. This is a real golf cart, and you can store it there at the country club, or you can take it home. You do whatever you want. It's yours to do whatever you want and with. And I know you actually want I that. want it. So yeah. I may try to buy that from you <laughs> if you get it, um, because I would like that. Yeah. Uh, James would love that. I don't know if it's electric or gas. It'll I, be I, electric, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah? Probably Who knows? Not, yeah. Most of them are now. So you could win that, or you could take the money that goes along with it or whatever. But it's a great night. It's $250 per person. You're getting more than that in cigars alone. It's a thank you we've been doing for 37 years uh, to say thank you to our customers to have a little celebration of another year that we're still in business, 37 years. So uh, if you want tickets, the day is this Saturday at 10 a.m., and you can go to any Two Guys Smoke Shop, but you're far away. You can call 888-2-CIGAR-2. That's 888-2-CIGAR-2, and you can buy tickets at 10 o'clock. Bless you. Thank you. And uh, that's the story of um, two guys' nice. anniversary party. I might go. Well yeah. worth it. Yeah, yeah. And in case it wasn't clear, like uh, when you're sitting for dinner, you're sitting with these brand owners, representatives, yes. things like that. So if you have a favorite brand, you know, and you want to right? smooth with them, yeah. Yeah, they're normally each on a different table. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Spread out around the room. So. I, I set them, schedule them out, scattered out there so that they don't sit together. They know each other and they would want right. to sit together, but they're I don't yeah. want nine other people to sit with them. Yeah. But during the night, people are walking around and going to... Mm-hmm tables and taking pictures with people and talking to them and yeah it's fun friendly yeah good time it's and good. very smoky <laughs> very smoky <laughs> all right so so understand that yeah all right why don't we take a break and when we come back we will do our top five some delightful news and continue with shenanigans shenanigans <laughs> only great leaf makes great cigars Aganorsa Salif stands out because of the distinctive mouth-watering flavors of the Corojo 99 and the Criollo 98 seeds cultivated by Cuban agronomists on the best lands in Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua. When you smoke one of the JFR, JFR Lunatic, Guardian of the Farm, or Casa Fernandez cigars, you will experience the unique taste and aroma that makes Aganorsa Salif different than any other tobacco in the world. Smoke one today and enjoy the signature flavor of Aganorsa Salif. Hello, cigar aficionados. This is Klaus Kellner from Davidoff Cigars. I invite you to taste the elements with Davidoff Escurio, Nicaragua, and Yamasa. From water comes originality. Savor the sweet and spicy originality of the Davidoff Escurio tobaccos born by the rains of Bahia, Brazil. From fire comes intensity. Enjoy the bittersweet aromas and fiery intensity of the Davidoff Nicaragua. From earth comes complexity. Taste the earthy flavors and complex spices that are unique to the red soil of the Yamasa region in Dominican Republic. Only Davidoff Master Blenders could take the power of nature and blend it into a range of exceptional cigars. Each element making each cigar a unique experience. Water, fire, earth. Flavors that have risen from the very world itself. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. Davidoff Cigars. Cigar adventures to a wider world. Looking for a mild cigar? Don Rafael is just that. Solidly constructed, and it offers up a mellow experience that holds a ton of universal appeal. This is just one of the reasons for Don Rafael's enormous success. Looking to get your friend into smoking cigars? The Don Rafael cigar is absolutely the right choice. The brand originally set out to outdo the competition, but for the price, there is no competition. You can't beat Don Rafael. It outsells them all. Don Rafael can be enjoyed any time of the day, all day, and cigar after cigar. The Don Rafael has a smooth, mellow aroma that will not linger. Draped in a seamless golden brown Connecticut wrapper, Dominican long fillers, and a Dominican binder complete the blend. Expect earthy notes with some hints of cedar throughout. And as far as quality everyday blends go, for a mild cigar smoker, it doesn't get more satisfying than this. Remember this, Don. Don Rafael. Aging Room 4 Nicaragua Maestro. Named Cigar Aficionado's number one cigar of the year with a 96 rating, is a complex Nicaraguan puro carefully blended by Rafael Nodal and made by A.J. Fernandez. As Cigar Aficionado described it, every puff is an overture of flavors that's at times heavy and rich with notes of dark chocolate and wood, 
and other times, subtle and understated, with hints of fine caramel and toasted almonds. Treat yourself to an aging Room Cuatro Nicaragua today. Surgeon General warning cigar smoking can cause cancers of the mouth and throat even if you do not inhale. Bohemian is the original Brazilian big ring gauge cigar with the unfinished foot, curly tailed head, and value, value, value. There are a Brazilian reasons to buy and smoke Bohemian, and here are just a few. Created in the Cuban tradition, this lush, dark Brazilian Maduro leaf surrounds a five year old Sumatra binder with Dominican and Nicaraguan well aged long filler leaves. So, what you do expect from a Bohemian? A departure from the conventional, a flavorful journey into sweet, nutty, almost caramel finish. Bohemian, the original, unconventional cigar. Take a journey. And we're back live in the Jose Dominguez Cigar Studio above Two Guys Smoke Shops, down in Hampshire. We are smoking the Abuelo Nieta. And if you don't follow us on social media already, check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, at The Assholes, on Instagram, at Assholes Radio. Uh, you can send us an email at theassholespodcast at gmail.com. We're also on YouTube and Odyssey. We're everywhere. And we're smoking the Abuelo. And did I tell you? I mean, it started off with, okay, this is a strong cigar. No problem. No. Six, maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, settles right yeah. down. Yeah. yeah, it's settling at about yeah six, five and a half, six. Now, if yeah. I took this six-inch cigar and I cut a half an inch off it and then smoked it, would it start perfect? No. 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 It still has to go through that. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's a mystery. <laughs> it's Honduran tobacco. That's what, what ends up happening with it all the time. If you ever have a cigar that starts like that and then all of a sudden comes down, it'll be Honduran tobacco, I guarantee you. Mm-hmm. It's, it's early aggressive cigar uh, always. But um, when I go to the – there's a big size called a Padre. Oh, yeah. It's a 6 by 60 not so much with that. It's, mm-hmm. it's big enough that yeah. it's, it starts cool, but it's a 60. You've got to smoke a 60. As I'm, as I'm saying, you have to smoke a 60 because what kind of crazy person would smoke a 60? Certainly not Ed Sullivan. Ed Sullivan was smoking a 60 ring gauge it's today. It's rare, but It yes. is. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Was, and you chose to smoke it. I chose the hot cake 60. Mm. It's a, a lot stronger than the other size. You're looking for a little kick after... Uh, a giant lunch. Well, yeah. <laughs> Chrissy fed me a giant mm-hmm. lunch. You, you had um, Dominican food? Yeah. yeah. All mm. excellent. Yeah. yeah. I didn't but know it, what he would want, so I ordered she basically ordered one everything. of everything. From the menu, but it sits heavy. Yeah. It yeah. does. You but know, pork so belly and... Beans and rice. Well, let's talk about food for one second. Right. <laughs> oh, you twist my arm. Because so, such an unusual topic. Here. Chef was here. Oh my God! Uh, and he made dinner for us Friday night. He mm. did. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. And I ate it on Saturday also. <laughs> yep. Uh, I had some on Friday when I came in. <laughs> wow, it was good. It was yeah. good. Yeah, that was Thursday night. That's right. Yeah, we were um, eating it for a few days. It was fantastic. And. Jonathan's not here, and he won't listen to this anyway. You made the mac and cheese. And I it did. was great. It was better. It was creamy Thank and creamy. creamy. It wasn't dry. I, do. I mean, amazing the difference when somebody actually eats food. Right. <laughs> they, 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 they can see food. how it is. Yeah. I always take the compliment from Chef himself, who mm. will say that he hates mac and cheese. He'll tell you himself, but he likes mine. So that's why he asked me to make it, because he doesn't normally do mac and cheese, but he likes it. That was to another level, whatever was going on in there. So I do a little w- bit of this. Th- that. Was there a little secret in there? It's not so much a secret. I just use a bunch of different cheeses, but I like to use, so I'll, I'll use like a Fontina, which is extra creamy. Oh, that you Fontina's get your creaminess, all right. creaminess from that. I was use this wicked sharp cheddar. I threw the word wicked in there. Yeah. Uh, but what <laughs> I suppose my secret, if you will, quote unquote, is I use a smoked gouda. So it adds a slight smokiness well, to, to exceptional. the... Exceptional. You, you didn't exceptional. sneak any like marijuana in there? No. Nope. Did you hear about that wedding? Oh, I oh. did. That was a lasagna, Absolutely right? Absolutely yeah. insane. Did she, did that lady goes to jail. Oh, right? This lady put it, yeah. marijuana in the br- everybody's lasagna. Yeah, oh. the food. The, and it, people the were calling 911 yeah. sitting at the tables and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Freaking oh, no. out. It's just, that's just Freaking insanity. Out. It's like, would just why would you? Lasagna. It's like, what if somebody's like on probation or whatever, and they had to get drug tested or something oh, like that? Who it could have killed like? somebody. Who knows if they were allergic to it? Are people allergic to it? I mean, I'd never smoke marijuana or <laughs> ate marijuana in my life. I'd be so mad that now I they get they actually yeah. laced my food with it. Yeah, yeah. that's going it's too far. Like, awful. I always get angry. 
if someone says, like, oh, you didn't say whether or not that has nuts in it. I said, if you're an adult. If you have a nut allergy, it's your job to ask yeah, yeah, yeah. if that food has nuts. But like this is a whole other level. You don't yeah. go around going, well, does this have weed in it? And it's like, does that lasagna have weed in it? For as many guests as there are at that wedding, it's like, yeah, it, that's a you're charge for each person that you... Yeah, that's <laughs> and and that, uh, maybe the caterer is in trouble, too. I yep, mean, that's caterer a, is, yeah. yeah. It's because th- they put the bride put the caterer up to it. I don't know oh. what what's wow. progressed with that since then. Insane. But oh, just crazy. Yep. Oh, right. that, that isn't that? a delightful news. That is no, a, that that's, the that's, opposite. A, that's an asshole of the week kind of thing. Right, right. <laughs> that would be delightful news. No one died, right? That's the. That's the <laughs> no, 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 nobody's dying from meeting that. All right, no. so let's get to the top five. Yeah. All right. Aloha. Today's top five is brought to you by Five Five Cigars. Choose from the mild white label, the medium strength red label, or the full bodied and full flavor blue label. Series Five Five has it all. Five Five equals equals the perfect 10 and that's what you get every time. The only thing better than a 55 cigar is two of them so you can share with a friend. And now here's today's top 5 list. All right, today's top 5, it's an exciting one. We're going <laughs> to see we're talking about <laughs> spending habits. We're going to talk about the top 5 US states by median median household income. Oh, oh All right. like so, so the states that that's Earn the most money. The average person makes yeah, the, the most money. Yeah, so uh, California, mm-hmm. New, no. New York, right? Nope, nope. You'd be surprised. Uh, number five is Hawaii. Oh yeah, everything. Eighty-three thousand dollars. Uh, Eighty thousand dollars. The average person. Eighty-three makes. average, uh, but it's also a very high cost of living. Yeah, uh, you know, because everything's got to be shipped. Just so groceries are super expensive. Everything's super expensive in oh, Hawaii. Not like Australia. Yeah. Same, same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So you guys get paid a lot, but it costs you so much to live. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So it's just relative, right? It doesn't matter. Exactly. Yeah, it balances out. Yeah. Uh, number four is New Jersey. It's uh, that's at eighty-five thousand, uh, mm. and it's one of the nation's most educated states. And so there's just a lot of people that live in New Jersey, work in New York. Oh, I was so just going to say the, that. Uh, so there's my New York. That brings that, it up. The, the mm. smart person is living in New Jersey. And driving to New York yeah. and going to work and making the money and bringing it back. Making yeah. New York prices, but spending New Jersey money. Exactly. Yeah, that's the way to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, cool. Number three is Massachusetts. Again, wow. it's 85000 probably on the higher end of that. Uh, it's, the it taxes. is the most educated state in the United States. I mean, we have so many colleges and universities. Uh, it's the highest percentage of bachelor's degree holders and graduates and professional degree holders. Uh, and so that just... And we have two Massachusetts guys right here on the stage with us. We have yep. Ed Sullivan yep. and, and Aaron. Yep. And We're educated. Both of you are college educated. Yep. One yep. is a professor. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, number two is Maryland. It's eighty six thousand. Maryland's a lot of DC people. Lot of ah, D- exactly, again. and that's the thing. There's Playing a caveat the on this one. They're not uh, living in DC. Poverty rate is nine percent. Uh, the third lowest in the country behind New Hampshire and Utah. So third that? lowest. Behind. Third lowest uh, poverty rate. Yeah. Uh, Maryland has the high, overall highest level of education attainment, with the second highest uh, percentage of graduate or professional degree holders. Uh, and number one. Related to Maryland in a way is the District of Columbia, Columbia, Columbia. the okay. DC, DC itself. There's, there's Washington DC. So uh, imagine the money between DC and Maryland. That's where the money is. Yeah. So people that are, are driving, living in Maryland, driving to, to DC. <laughs> Although they like say DC is a lot of poor people, right? That's yeah. the thing. So DC is the highest median income. It's uh, ninety-two thousand. Uh, it's ranks among the nation's largest cities because that's all it is, really. Uh, it's right behind and. So the in- income is not evenly distributed. D- mm. DC's black population's median income is forty-two thousand, while the white population is one hundred and thirty-four thousand. Wow. wow! So it's yeah, it's kind of crazy. Uh, and the poverty rate is thirteen point five. So that's p- yeah. kind of so you got very very poor people and very yeah, very rich that, people. That's the thing with you know numbers can are deceiving. <laughs> and, and, and right there, where the lawmakers are mm-hmm. looking out the window. Of the problem that they have, and they, yeah. can't, and they can't fix that. Can't yep. fix it. Uh, and New Ham- so New Hampshire, where we are right now, is number nine. It's, so not too bad on the list. No, nine out of 000. 50. So Mississippi okay. is the lowest at 45,000. Again, probably cheap to live there, though. The rich people live in Chevy Chase, Maryland. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Is it named wow. after the community? Well, Chevy Chase is not his real name. We no, had that he, on he the show that before that he made that name up. He didn't make the name up. Yeah, he do called you think himself he took that. it from yeah. the, from the yeah, place. From yep. the place, yeah. Yeah, because it's so. money. 
Something like that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've driven through Chevy Chase. I'm, All right. I need some money there, yeah. yeah. And I know, that I know a cigar shop owner out of Maryland, and he has 12 cigar shops wow. Well, wow. in Maryland. Zero in D.C. I know somebody in D.C. has two cigar shops. Uh, I wonder if they move a lot of high-end cigars. Hmm, depends As, on the location. Yeah. Yeah. Well, especially with yeah, DC, politicians yeah. smoke expensive cigars. Don't yeah, they? especially the, 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 the people on that high end. For you. <laughs> the people on the the one hundred and fifty as opposed to the forty two, right, or whatever yeah. that was. <laughs> wow, what a, what a difference in DC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> it's crazy. I coughed, but I got my my drink here. All right, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that works out well for you. That's it. So I can't cough. No, no. I'd offer you my drink, but no with germs nowadays. Oh, COVID. Yeah. And who wants to share a drink with another guy? I mean, but besides Jonathan. You still haven't had the COVID, right? <laughs> no, no. You're no. Not, never getting it? I don't get tested. So oh, that's so part you of can't the, get yeah. it. No. I was like, I mean, you're, you're like never sick, too. So no. <laughs> like, no. Nope. So uh, still liking uh, the Abuelo. Yeah. I love the. Abuelo. Not the size I usually go to. It's anyway, a, it's a I'm nice the Toro size. guy yeah. when it comes to this. Well, when you got a little less time. Mm. Yeah, I'm cranking through it. I'm, I'm Me enjoying too. it. I've not yeah. smoked this size, but I'm a huge fan of this cigar. Mm. I, I like it. It's so smoky. Like, I don't know if you mm. can see it. Those oh, watch, yeah. No, you can't really see it. No, it's in such a, cloud. a smoky cigar. Like, mm. I, and I do like it really. Cloud of smoke. Tasty. It tastes like you're, smoke, yep. you're smoking a cigar. Yeah. This is what a cigar should taste yeah. like, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like some cigar. nice spice, like a like an yeah. anise, you know, like real punch, yeah. of, like but anise extract almost. Spice and yet smooth. Yeah, not a problem with no. it. Good, no. good. No. All right, you want to get delightful? I do. Okay. Are you tired of the news claiming the end of the world? Everyone run for cover! Mayday! Are you sick of turning on your radio and hearing things like this? Code Red, duck is covered! You're all in danger! Well, I think it's time for some delightful news. Brought to you by Cuban Delight Cigars. How delightful. So, today's story is about an amputee athlete. Now, the amputation is not the delightful part of this story. I would imagine not, no. An amputee athlete ran 104 marathons in 104 days. Where's the delightful part of this? (laughs) That sounds terrible. It's an accomplishment. (laughs) Oh, they weren't being chased or anything? Uh, Yeah. yeah. (laughs) 104 104 consecutive days, she ran 26.2 miles before the sun went down. What well, well, was crazy. Tom Hanks? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, running across. Forrest Gump? Forrest, Forrest Gump, Gump, right? Yeah. She could have gone pretty far across. I don't think she would have made it across the country. By but. herself. Wow. Yeah, yeah she, 26 uh, miles a day. That's she set the goal of running 104 marathons in 104 days to uh, break an unofficial women's record, but also show the power of perseverance. So her rest was on the flight to... The, the next, next place? one, probably. That's, that's, I mean, yeah. that's got to take a real toll on your body. Wow. Yeah. 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 Her, her, she lost her left leg below the knee and has a carbon fiber prosthesis. I don't know if that's cheating or not. No, but one leg, one well, leg took a beaten. One leg get tired? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, she shared her progress on social media and also raised $27,000 to help other amputee blade runners. Not enough. No, it, I, <laughs> but yeah. she, she's helping other Blade Runners purchase expensive prosthesis. All right. Blade so. Runners, is what they're calling them? Yeah, Blade Runners. Do so they like hunt androids on the side? Yeah, like the oh, baby. There was that one guy, <laughs> that Oscar guy, he ended up murdering his girlfriend. Yeah, right? that's right, yeah. Oscar. I mean, losing a limb doesn't mean you're a nice person, you know? <laughs> what was his name? I don't remember. This took a dark turn. No. Yeah, that's, we would make be delightful noise. news without it. You <laughs> lose your leg, you get m- more angry, No. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I something mean, like that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I don't think there's a correlation. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. So, Dave, how many marathons in a row could you run? I don't even watch a marathon. <laughs> Never mind, yeah, run right. one. <laughs> Zero. I walked a marathon before. I walked 25 miles for a thing when I was in school. It was a charity yeah. thing, and we we walked it. Yeah, they could, uh, I've done the walk for hunger. Yeah, no. like a mara- you know, yeah, it was that <laughs> actually? Yeah. And it was all day. You know, I must have did eight hours uh, walk, and I was beat. Hmm. Actually, I I should have done my own delightful news today, because you know what the most delightful news of the day is. It wasn't lunch? What? 
Nobody talked to you? Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> after many, many months and many trials and Five tribulations. Five months. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. I got a David windshield. David Garofalo has Finally. a new windshield. Right. I have Man, a windshield. Can, can you believe it? So this guy, uh, Elon Musk, he has <laughs> sent a man in orbit, rocket to the wow. moon, right? Yeah. He <laughs> bought Twitter. And he can't replace a windshield in my car. <laughs> it took five months. Now, as much as I was angry at Tesla, I went to the glass place to finally replace the glass. Safe yeah. light. Safe light. And everybody was complaining. And first off, they said, is that your Tesla? Yeah. They had other cars. Everybody had a different car. And everybody was complaining how many months they were waiting for their Windshield. windshield. So it didn't matter what they were so driving. Just across the board, is this a shortage? There's a glass shortage. Man. Glass didn't, shortage. I haven't really windshields. heard about that. That's interesting. Yeah. Right? So how bad is that? So yeah. good thing I was able to drive my car I for know. five months. Well, what if, what if you really, your windshield crashed, gone? Yeah. No. You can't drive it, right? It's against a lot of yeah, driving no, like no. that. So what do you do? Unless you just you take it off and pretend that it's you just uh, you to shave your clean. hair off yeah. and it just doesn't look like you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm unclear in, here in New Hampshire. Isn't it live free or die? I'm pretty sure you can do whatever you want. I don't know if you can drive without <laughs> no. a windshield. No, yeah, no, that's against the law. I don't you don't know. have to wear a seatbelt. That's but you must where have they a draw the line. Yeah. Live free, free or die. It's like yeah, that's, they'll just kill you. You'd, You'd have, have to rent a car. <laughs> you still don't yeah. have to have a. Seatbelt in New Hampshire? No. Yeah, you do. I think that's the rule now. I don't know. I don't know. I thought you didn't, but I, mean, I mean, I wear my best anyway. practice. Yeah, just, just I have no choice belt. because the damn yeah. Tesla makes the seat. You put the seatbelt <laughs> on, or it won't stop that irritating right. sound. Yeah. But I was a non seatbelt wearer till I had that, till I had to put it on. Really? Yeah, wow. I never did. But it's, you, it's wrong. You should put a seatbelt on. But you I'm a fat guy. It was uncomfortable. Rent a car. <laughs> have you seen the price of rental cars? I hear it's crazy, right? So I'm going out to South Dakota, one week rental for. You know, what would be a smallish SUV, compact SUV? What do you think for one 380. week? 380. One week. For a week? Oh. Ugh. 1,800. Oh, I was going to guess 1,200. 1,800. <laughs> it's brutal. Wow. Oh. Too South Dakota, too far to drive. Uh, yeah. I've, and I checked them all, and they're all. Who goes to South Dakota first off? Yeah. And just me. Yeah. You go to the weirdest places. Yeah. <laughs> Well, just I mean, where am I going to go? Italy? I don't know, but South Dakota Maybe and Italy. the last time you went to uh, Jerusalem or where did you Jerusalem. go? Jerusalem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Beth yeah, Bethlehem. 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 Bethlehem, New Hampshire. <laughs> That's just a drive. Jerusalem, it's all the same. Here's a fun fact about me. I don't like people, so yeah. I go where the people are. Ah. I know. Like, you want to get with people. <laughs> go where the people are choice. not. Yeah. Because they're poor in South Dakota, I think. I would think they're on household the income. Somewhere. Well, they wouldn't know because nobody's talking to the government. No. So. <laughs> Seatbelts are only enforced under 18s in New Hampshire, just, just wow. saying. I'm looking at a map of the states. It's amazing. The it's whole thing is lit up orange, yellow, or red, right? This is different levels of yep. enforcement. Except New Hampshire is bright green. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no enforcement. Do whatever well, the hell is. you want. Unless you're over 18. They're living Unless you're, free and dying. Yep. But if you're, you know, if, <laughs> if you're driving a motorcycle, it's like you, you can go without a helmet, but you have to have sunglasses on. <laughs> you have to have something covering your eyes. It's weird like that. Oh, yeah, the yeah. helmet. Well, yeah, that's not a thing in Australia, right? Yeah, yeah. No helmet, helmet, but yeah, you got to have your eyes covered. Makes sense, but... Good. All right. All right. Time to, to rate this thing. Oh, I like it. I, I, I still have plenty I got my left. Number. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm cranking through it because I like it. So. I was going to say, I think Aaron and I are about the same. On yeah. That. I'm loving yeah. it. I'm loving Almost it. finger burning. Yep. yep. All right. Got I, my number. I have put mine here. I recommend it. This is Abuelo Nieta. Uh, not my favorite size, but, but a favorite brand for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, great job he did, and I'll be, be looking for Aladino. Um, when that new Aladino classic, classic comes Aladino. out, I'll be interested oh, yeah. to see classic. if it's uh, take Similar. off of this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting. All right, I've got my number. All right, we're ready. Who's um, going first? I really like the size, and I gave it a ninety-four. Wow, I really enjoyed it. I thought it. I was going to have the highest, but Delicious. I have a ninety-three. Yeah, and I thought I would have the lowest, and I do a ninety-one. <laughs> But still, overall, you're, yeah. you're looking at a 92 and a half, yeah. 93. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. It's very good. Mm. Abuelo Nieto. Nieta. 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 There's a Nieto, a which is the Robusto, Nieta, mm-hmm. Padre, and Grand Padre, I mm. believe. All Whoa. right. 
Uh, okay, so next week we're going to be talking about a vertically integrated cigar company. I will so, not be here, so you yeah. guys got to take take the take the helm on this. Yeah. Vertically integrated. So they, they they do the seed, they grow their tobacco, they make their boxes, all that fun stuff. We'll talk about some business, basically. Uh, so until then, you've been listening to the assholes broadcasting from the Jose Domingo Cigar Studio at Two Guys Smoke Shop in Salem. We will see you next week. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast